Yo, this chapter right here, fairy tale. This is what I'm talking about. That's that shit I do like. All right, so the dragons have officially come through the gate with this one. What we've been waiting for forever now, hearing about these dragons, it has finally become true. It's become real. And I got to say that this was definitely a, a massive step up. I feel like ever since the tournament ended, the Grand Magic Games, the manga has been back on track to good fairy tale stuff. First of all, uh, the whole thing with Lucy and how she found out about closing the gate with Crooks, how uh, basically he was investigating and whatnot, it would have been better if he would have showed up and told her, he would have said, stop right now, close the gates, instead of that telepathic uh, communication, because we've never seen them be able to do that before, so it kind of was a little off, like, I remember the last chapter, I had said that, uh, I felt as though, like, she was being controlled or something, because it looked like she just had this real, uh, like, no pupils in her eyes and apparently it was just that he told her what was going down with that machine as far as like that it could it travels back in time and whatnot so right then and there um that that was one thing that i didn't care for but it was still nonetheless interesting that she you know was getting ready to close the gate and right then and there dragons are flying in so automatically if they gotta face these dragons, they're gonna have one hell of a time because, yeah, the Akinogia was special, but nonetheless, like, the first dragon that comes in, as soon as he touches down, the freaking ground is breaking and everything. And the princess right now is looking like Pinhead, like a, a Pinhead number two. We got the second Pinhead this week because if she would've just listened to Lucy, let's close it real quick, we would've been good. Because at the end of the day, where did the princess think the dragons were gonna come from in the end? Like, did she think they were gonna just... Like that, they, 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 they're they here, or w what was up with that? So she should have just listened to Lucy, closed it. I mean, did they have enough time? I'm not sure, because, like, immediately they just started pouring in, and I'm not ex exactly sure how many are there at the moment, but we've already seen, like, a bunch of them, and from what was said, it's basically they're pouring in through the gate. So even if they close the gate, let's just say next chapter they close it, it's not like they're going to just be sucked back in once the gate gets closed because they already came through the gate. So... No matter what, there's already a, a, a situation here. And there's only two ways at this point that it's going to go out. Either they're going to close the gate, and then they're going to have to deal with the ones that are here now, which there's probably a decent amount, a large amount, shall I say. Or they're going to have to go back in time, which that's the one I'm more looking for. That's the one that I, I want them to. They're going to have to go back in time and try to stop any of this from ever happening. So there's two outcomes I definitely see. I don't see any other way of them, you know, doing this. Now, with Lucy uh, trying to close the gate and it not closing, I think her and Yuki Kino are going to have some sort of team up or whatever. And we still got to remember Charlie's vision of her singing there and everything crumbling down. Maybe that might happen afterward. I don't know. But th there's a, a big possibility of, you know, like, because why would, was it crumbling down to begin with? Maybe, like, she stood behind because she has to stay behind while they close the gates and uh, the you know, castle is crumbling with all the dragons. And then they go back in time and they're going to try to reverse things because I'm sure... Lucy is probably, you know, going to die if she stays behind with all these dragons. But it also could be that, basically, she loses her memory. Like, it's a possibility, the whole thing, how this goes down, and why she went back in time to begin with, was, basically, they're going to jump through the gate, right? They're going to go back in time, and Lucy's going to stay behind, because she's only, you know, she needs to use her magic in order to close it from the outside. And maybe, uh, while she's there, you know closing the gate or whatever, she's going to get knocked out and she's going to forget exactly what went down and then goes back in time. And that's where we see future Lucy uh, uh, appear. That's just a thought right there of how things uh, went down in the past and how everything is playing out. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to go back to the past. I don't think that we're going to see them dealing with them because, like, everybody is beat up to begin with. Like, you know, everybody went through the GMG. There, there's no way that they're going to be able to take on all these dragons. Like, there's no way they probably would be even be able to take out one because everyone's so beat up, let alone all these ridiculously big, strong-ass dragons. So we're definitely going to have to go through the portal. At the very least, two people are confirmed not so in Ganjio because of that whole thing back in um, the, the the arc where Loxus was invading about them being older than 80 years old. At the very least, I see them too. I don't know how many more people. It's not going to be just not so in Ganjio. So I, I'm definitely foreseeing at least them too, but maybe a few more as well. So we'll, we'll see that definitely uh, come to fruition soon. And once again, with the whole thing of the, the dragons being 400 years ago, it kind of makes it seem like what's going on because the way they were talking is, is as if the dragons have been gone for uh, 400 years. I mean, we know they disappeared supposedly uh, seven years, seven days in the past, but in all honesty, were they even really around? Like, outside of Natsu and the Dragon Slayers, was it like that you just walk around and you randomly see a dragon chilling? That's the thing that really makes you question. Like, I wish Hero would have uh, developed the world a little bit more, make us get a more understanding of when the dragons were around, exactly what 
you know, what was the atmosphere and what was the communication between humans and dragons because it's a big possibility, like I said a while back, that 400 years ago they were with the dragons and that's where they were with the dragons and then they went to uh, the future or they went, they got tossed into the future and it wasn't really that the dragons disappeared. So it's really a, a big thing, like do they know about dragons from first-hand experience? Like Makarov, does he know about that from first-hand experience or... You know, what's up with that? So uh, that's one thing I just wish would be explained a little bit more. But we're definitely going to get some tra time travel. Overall, this chapter, really, just, I'm hype. We got the dragons here. Uh, I, I, I'm wondering what's up with a couple people disappearing. Like, where is Mavis? Mavis just completely is out of the scene. You know, where is she at? Yukino, where is she at? I wonder what Arcadios is going to do. I'd imagine Arcadios might die. I could see him uh, sacrificing it all at the end of the day, maybe to save the princess or something. So it's a possibility Arcadios will go out, uh, go out, you know, he's going to get killed or whatever. We'll just have to wait and see about that. But overall, chapter exciting. It's really heating up now. Things are really going underway. Uh, as far as future uh, Rogue or future, you know, Sting Rogue, whatever, you know, he killed Sting to take his powers or whatever, it really makes you wonder why exactly would he want the dragons to come through the portal? He was trying to do this the entire time, and he seems as though he's evil. He killed Sting to get the magic. Why would he want dragons to come and devour everyone? Is it that after some events happen in the future, he just totally loses his freaking mind, and it's like, freaking, I want dragons? Is it because maybe his inner dragon or something awakened? I don't know, because it just seems weird. Why would you want dragons to come and devour all humans when you're a human yourself? Maybe he just goes berserk or something. Maybe it's because you let Red die. No, let me stop. But yeah, that's all I have for this review. Uh, this uh, chapter was definitely a, a real good one. I give it a four out of five because, you know, we got dragons. And I just really can't wait to see if we're either going to try to fight the ones we have now after we close the gate with maybe Yukino helping Lucy to close it. Or we're going to go back in time, leaning more towards back in time. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to see if we're going to go back in time because that's going to be crazy seeing them in, in the time for hundred years ago with all the dragons and they might pop up right before the war with dragons goes on and if that's the case it, it's going to be freaking awesome and I can't wait to see it. Uh, I'm from Neverworld and as always people have an awesome day.